Hey guys, what's going on? So um, today I'm going to show you how to make this origami box right here. And uh, it's my own design. And check it out. It looks really cool. And what's really cool about it is that um, you can put some inside of it. And I'm just, just going to use this rock right here. See? And you can, you can close the flaps like this. <clears throat> it works just like those cardboard boxes. See? You just stick that one like that. See? And it's closed like that. And you can open it like that. And take the rock out. Alright? So, yeah. And I want to show you this other variation I made. This is more of the Starbucks version right here. See? So what I did was, it, it basically is the Starbucks. It, it's just I made the flaps different. See? And it also opens up. But this one is not really as clean looking. See? Because see, notice the flaps. They're not really connected. But notice these are, you know, connected right here. But this one's fine too. It's just, it's just not as um, clean looking, that's all. And I think it's harder to... There, just like that. It works pretty well though. So in the comments below, tell me if you want me to teach this or not. And if you guys want me to teach it, I probably will soon. Alright, but without further ado, I'm going to show you how to make this origami box. Want to learn how to fold it? Ready, set, here goes. Alright, so this model I folded from a 6 inch square of Chiyogami origami paper. And this one I folded from a 6 inch square of double sided. And I'm going to use double sided in this, in this tutorial. Alright, so I'm going to make a red box with yellow flaps. Alright, so I'm going to begin yellow side up and I'm going to fold in half. Alright. Oh, my camera focus first. Alright, like that. Try to make per very precise folds and crease sharply. And unfold and fold in half this way. We're making a square base. Alright, like that. Now fold um, this corner to right here. And turn over right to left and fold this point to here. See? Just like that. Alright, now open the pocket like that. Put your hand all the way inside and bring the sides together like that. Hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Okay. Like that, and here we have the square base. Alright, so now fold this edge to the middle crease right here. And oh yeah, make sure you orient the model so that the open side is facing you. Alright, so here's the open side. And fold this edge to right here. Okay, like that. And repeat on the back side. So remember, here's the open side and fold these two edges to the middle crease. Okay, so now, um, let's take this flap right here and we're gonna do a squash fold. So, um, we're gonna um, just take it and we're gonna squash it so that um, this crease right here aligns with this middle line. See, like that, and crease sharply, and repeat on this side. I'm just gonna do it on the surface. All right. See, just like that. Okay, now turn over and re repeat all that on this side. So here we go. Open it up and squash it so that the middle crease right here aligns with the middle line. And repeat on the side. Open it up <laughs> and squash. See, it's just like we're making that traditional Starbucks. All right. And now, um, let's turn the page here, fold that over, and turn over and fold this over. All right, just like that. And now we're gonna refold these on these two creases. So fold the slap like that, and the slap. Turn over and repeat on this side. See? Just like that. Okay, so, um, now, this is getting kind of small. Alright, so, um, now we're gonna do is, um, now if you just go ahead and, like, fold this up in between these two points, reverse the crease, and then go ahead and fold these flaps up like, um, this, you'll end up with the star box. And I'll leave that for you to figure out how to do. 
but I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm gonna show you how to make this box. So here we go. So we're gonna um to make it um to make it cl clean like this to make them not connected. Then here's how you're gonna do it. Now if you don't do this step, you'll you'll end up with this kind of box right here with this box where they're not really connected. So if, um I'll probably leave that for you to figure out how to do also. So um. But I'm, I'm going to teach you how to make this one. So um, to do that, we're going to do is we're going to fold this up right in between that point. <coughs> and well, we're going to fold it right at that point, not in between. But, um, and you want to fold it so that um, the fold we're making is parallel with the middle crease right here. So um, just eyeball it. See? Just like that. And repeat on this side. So fold this down like this right on that point <clears throat> and you're gonna make the fold we're making parallel with the middle crease so yeah just eyeball it doesn't need to be perfect but just do the best you can just like that increase that really sharply and repeat on this side and on this side you can just make the fold align with the edge below and repeat on this side Okay, just like that. Alright, so now, um, if you fold these up, you'll end up with a star, but to make the flaps, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to take this point and we're going to fold it to this point. Just like that. Crease sharply, now unfold, and now fold this point to that point. See? Just like that. Alright, now comes the tricky step. What we're going to do is we're going to um, open here, like this. And now turn over. And now here you have some creases here. And it kind of looks like a heart. This is kind of like that step. I think this is that, that step that when Jeremy Schaefer taught that origami peace sign. This is, I think this is that step. So um, we're going to do is we're going to pinch those creases right here. So pinch this one and this one. Like that. So see? And you don't have to worry about these two creases right here because those pretty much form on its own when we collapse it. So um, now we're going to refold this. Um, where's my little pointer? I don't remember where I put my pointer. Uh, it doesn't worry. Don't worry about it. So let's, fold, let's, let's valley fold this on that crease like that. See? Just like that. And now fold this on that crease. See? Just like that. And now pinch right here. See? Just like that. And now here you have this flap, so let's fold it over to the left. And now unfold, and now let's tuck it inside. Like that. See? There it is, and that's one flap. And we'll, fold, we'll fold it down later, once we're done with the other flaps. And now repeat that on this side. So, fold to this point right here. And unfold, and now fold it to this point. And unfold it, and now let's do the tricky step. So, um, here we have the, the heart of creases right here. And let's pinch the two side ones like this. Remember, don't worry about these two middle ones right here. Those are those will, those will form on their own, like that. And now fold this like that, and this. And now just pinch it like that. See, they notice they form automatically, <laughs> just like that. Now fold this over unfold and tuck it inside the pocket. Alright, like that. And now, let's fold this over, turn over, and fold this over like this. And now we have these two flaps to go. And on these two, I'm going to go at my own speed for this, without talking, okay? But hopefully you'll get sense of how I do it. If you want to hear me talk for it, then uh, rewind the video. And I'm also going to go a little bit faster, too. Well, not really. Well, I don't know. Just at my own speed. That's all I'm going to do.
Okay, so um, here we have the box right here, but it's, the, it's, in, it's flat right now. <clears throat> so before we mess with the flaps, let's unfold this up in between these two points. This is the bottom of the box right here. And make sure that this point aligns with the middle crease. And unfold and now turn over and let's reverse the crease. So let's just make that crease generally, let's just reverse it a couple times. Okay, so now um, let's take this flap and fold it up as far as it goes, so in between these two points. And make sure that this point aligns with the middle crease as well. Ugh, the crickets. Caught a couple crickets last night. <laughs> okay. Yep, be on the side too. <laughs> Just like that. Alright, and now we're ready to open up the box. So, just open it up like that, put your finger inside, let that crease come out, this one, this one, and this one. Like that. Now just kind of adjust it. <clears throat> and here it is. Here is the origami um, box. What should I name this box? I haven't named it yet, but um, you can name it wherever you want. Okay. I don't really have a name for it. All I know is that it just works like those cardboard boxes with the flaps. So yeah. <clears throat> I'll put this quarter inside. And let's fold the flaps in. And yeah, just mount and fold the flaps like that on the existing creases. Okay, just like that. And now this flap, make sure that this side is over this one and put this side under this flap like that. And here it's closed just like that. So yeah, I'm going to take the quarter out. <clears throat> I'm going to close it. I'm going to see if it works like um, a spinneroo. Alright, so I'm going to hold it like this. I'm going to see if it'll spin when I blow on it. <laughs> yep, it does. So it's a spinneroo also. <laughs> yep. So yeah. In a roo box. Oh yeah, just like that. All right. And remember, in the comments below, if you guys want me to teach this to you, tell me in the comments below. Ask me in the comments below. And if you, if you, if a lot of you ask me for it, I'll try and do it soon. All right. It could spin, just like that. All right. Oh, and maybe if you're putting coins in it, maybe it can be like a little bank or something. See? And just like that, you can put it right through the hole, just like that. And let's see if the coin can pop out on its own. Yep. It's probably the weight of the coin that makes it come out like that. See? Alright, hope you guys enjoyed folding this. And if you were able to fold it, we'll make a demo of it. And once you made your demo, tell me in the comments below. And put the link to your demo in there in your comment. Alright. See you guys later. Bye.